Yeah. Right then, what we got here, Grandad? Here we have a De Dion Bouton. <laughs> oh, 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 that's my French. That's the extent of my French. Uh, beautiful bit of kit. Absolutely lovely. You strip it and paint it and make it immaculate so you're never going to use it again or do you keep it as it is. It's 101 years old, this car. And the last time, time I saw it was 55 years ago. The last time I was close to this car and it was probably from here to the end of that car away from it then. And it's been in the same ownership ever since. Just amazing story. If anyone's interested, ring me up. I'll tell them some background about it, all I know anyway. But um, picked it up and filmed it. It's on camera, it's beyond telly. Uh, filmed it last Friday. And it was quite an emotional going on. It was quite strange, really. Um, meeting people that I hadn't seen for all those years and seeing the car that I hadn't seen for all those years. The vehicle itself is just so, so honest and original. It's obviously been painted, hand painted. The upholstery looks original, the dashboard, etc., all looks dead right. It's just well used. So again, like I say, what do you do? Do you, it's 101 years old. Do you renew this and make it look all fancy? Uh, and then, like I say, scared to use it and it loses all its originality. Oh, you don't, do you? You just don't do it. You've got to leave it as it is, guys. You've got to. Um, I just cannot see the sense in, in doing it any other way, really. I mean, it's, it's usable, workable. It's a massive talking point. Wherever this vehicle goes, any show it goes in, it's going to just be a, like a showstopper, really. You know, it's just mega old, obviously. But still usable, powerful engine. The Dion, best mate you can probably find, really. Pre uh, vintage vehicles. I mean, it's, it's a, the, the name is synonymous with vintage vehicles. So it's got the name going for it. It's got the size of the engine. It's a four seater Tourer. Um, there don't appear to be any weather gear, but you know, didn't have it then, did you? Really, there'd be some sort of cover. I would imagine that goes on here, or did. Hoods in all in tidy condition, all good and sound. Um, it's just so original, I just don't think it should be touched. I, I just can't see the point in it. If it was a lot more tatty, then I suppose you have to do something about it. You probably might wind up putting some tyres on, but I'm not even sure you do that. You just want to leave it as it is. It's a 101 year old vehicle that with some, with some recommissioning and service over or whatever you want to call it, you can drive it down the road and it would go quite well with that engine and size of that engine it would pull pretty well um no nah, don't touch it it's it's just it's got everything going for it all the proper lamps and such like a little bit of condition of the, the rad and the surround i mean you know i say to people when you're describing a rolls royce it's hardly picked up a fly when all is this i would say that's probably never gone fast enough to pick up a fly has it <laughs> um it's just something very special that just needs to be nurtured and left as it is and enjoyed sparingly but get it out and enjoy it run the car let other people enjoy it i think it's just wonderful i'm so so honored to have picked it up it's here for the october sale let's face it if it was a 1904 car london brighton car you'd be talking you wouldn't get any change out of 150 200 pounds no doubt about that whatsoever probably more but as it's a 1910 or 12 edwardian what you're doing you're probably talking 35 grand something like that one of the best investments you'll ever make i'll tell you now anyway it's up to you you come along and have a look and see what you think <laughs>